right, I called the situation from pretty much a month out. So let me tell you this. The second part of this storm is going to pack a major punch. Basically, what is going to happen over the next seven days is we're going to be attacked by like two ice dragons. Well, technically, they're like mixed precipitation quetzalcoatls. And the most damaging storms are hurricanes. Below that is ice storms. And I would even put ice storms ahead of tornadoes because a large ice storm, which spans a thousand miles, can take out trees, bushes, roofs, power lines. Um, like right now, I'm pretty sure we've got over a million people without power. And this week long double storm event is just beginning. So here's storm one. And then we get storm two. And I was in a super great mood this morning, churning the videos out. And then the minute they started that dang impeachment trial, the energy just went to shit. And I said ahead of time, look, dude, they don't have the votes. So if you don't have the votes, why even go through with a second toothless impeachment? They should probably spend that time getting help to the people who've been dealing with the pandemic for a year because pretty much almost every country in the world has given their people anywhere from 50% to 90% of the wages that they earned at the time that the pandemic broke out if their nation did not handle the pandemic well. But somehow the richest nation in the world did not take care of its people very well. What was it talking about? Oh yeah, ice dragons. And how, you know, the energy just went garbagey as soon as the impeachment started. And then it's like pre-Valentine's Day energy. In the last few years, pre-Valentine's Day energy is always sort of garbagey. Okay. But what I'm trying to tell you, oh, so yeah, are you watching this? So we have a situation and Let's back it up here. So we are watching this anomalous pressure situation with the ISO bars creating windy situations as it moves down and the storm A moves into Texas bringing snow. But you can see some ice coming out of Alabama, Louisiana, Arkansas and then ice forming down in South Texas as Texas gets covered with snow. And then the ice dragon number one starts to snake up to the northeast. You got snow on top, ice and sleet in the middle, and then rain underneath. And that is going to create a lot of problems for a lot of people. And that is just storm number one, which will exit out on the 15th. And then by the 17th, you get the second storm coming up, and which will be more ice for Texas south and north and then that consistently shows a huge ice patch and then notice all the super heavy rain underneath so no matter what this storm I mean that's a ton of moisture and if somehow that much moisture makes it into the ice and the snow you create bigger problems I mean so this is just tons of moisture mixed precipitation and this storm almost bombs out. Like, what does it get to? Yeah, 979. So it drops like 25 from here to there. It drops like 25 millibars. And it's got yellow, meaning heavy precipitation the whole time. So I do believe models are probably undercutting the rain factor. See, over the next seven days, you get the ice line pretty much through here and then you get the flood area here and then you get a lot of snow here and then the Pacific Northwest continues to get pounded and uh, you have the Arctic air battling the Caribbean heat probably from the magma so it's gonna be quite an event 
earthquakes have been a big story in 2021. In six weeks, we've had three, seven, or larger magnitudes, and I think over 15 sixes, if my math is correct. Today, we had the seven, one, seven, two, seven, three. Uh, in Japan, you just has it listed it. I know, I can't get there. And then you had a five, three in Alaska, but the most curious one, in my opinion, that was like, made me be like, whoa, was this four, four, in Canada, usually Canadian earthquakes are over here. And so to get this earthquake this far east shows that, yeah, dude, the, the plates are moving for sure. It looks like the New York Shield may prevent NYC from getting covered in ice, but other areas will not be as lucky. And everything is subject to change because 2021 will be the year of surprises and unpredictable things. Look, you're talking about almost an inch of ice all the way up this, the middle of this corridor and a half inch of ice on outside of it. So, like I said, this is power outages. This is down trees. Trees can't handle a whole lot of ice. Yeah, 0 0.99. That's almost a full inch of ice. And then Florida, like the only state that's not getting hit by the Arctic air, will be under severe weather watch tomorrow during the Daytona or before or after. So yeah, extreme weather for them, just on a different shade or temperature, warmer. Multiple days of severe weather for Florida. Like over 100 million people will be affected. James Spann, freezing rain and significant ice accumulation is likely tomorrow night and Monday through parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, North and West Alabama. Power outages are likely. Now is the time to prepare. This is a very significant ice bridge, which will cause a whole lot of problems. And power outage hasn't updated in 10 hours. And 10 hours ago, 700,000 people were without power. And the week-long storm parade of ice storms has just barely, has, hasn't even really begun. It's just now getting started. And so get ready, because it's about to get wild. Depending on where you are, you should be getting your preparations done, or like in Houston, We'll be down here. You should have your preps done by 3 p.m. tomorrow. And then you'll probably be wherever you're at then until Tuesday. And then we're going to do it all over again starting Thursday in a different way, though. So we get the first hit, first storm, Tuesday. And then this is storm number two. Man, just look at that. Look at that. That's incredible my opinion so yeah buckle up buddy and happy valentine's day i'm trying to get better mood i thought about going live uh at midnight oh yeah i'm mesmerized air storm is too legit too legit to quit so i'll try and snap out of it and get back to it keep you guys updated but you know i've got like a month of videos preparing everybody for what we should be dealing with and i still think there's a chance we might even get another big earthquake over the next week okie dokie but hey mercury finally goes direct on the 20th so that's good news awkward segue hey uh i do a fundraiser every month to keep the news up and running and on months where i don't hit the full total of what i was trying to raise for that month for bills and stuff i have a fundraiser in the middle of the month which would be today and tomorrow so if if you would like to contribute or donate to help me keep doing what i do because i try to do the best i can to give you guys the best information and save lives and put a smile on your face laugh and inspire all those wonderful things uh, i've been staring at the storm for like a month I'm going crazy I got a snail mail, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and only $641 left to raise. But super duper awesome. Thank you to Rick, Kirsten, and Caleb, and everybody out there in Astro Fight Club. And to let you guys know, Rick told me to get some beer, so I did that. And it was just like an old tradition that if Texas gets hit with snow, I drink Jägermeister, so I got a little bottle of Jäger too. 
So either tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to go live and we will celebrate Valentine's Day together. Okay. God bless everyone. Stay cool. We'll talk to you all soon. Peace out.